We are Gigabyte Technology here at IEC event 2022, highlighting some of the latest technologies for HPC, AI, and virtualization. Applications are moving away from CPU-centric workload to balanced CPU and GPU uh, balanced workloads or to GPU-centric workloads. And that's why we're displaying all the different models here. We're excited to work with Gigabyte and to bring uh, uh, Ampere, GPU, and different form factors into different system sizes to provide uh, a different kind of uh, GPU combinations and enables AI at every scale. We're also very proud with Bluefield. Bluefield is a full data center on a chip. In traditional data centers, you have uh, air-based uh, computing systems. Uh, running uh, mainly with air conditioning, which uh, puts a heavy burden on the ele electricity power grid. So now with liquid cooling, we have one-phase immersion cooling, two-phase immersion cooling, and direct liquid cooling using direct-to-chip liquid cooling water pipes. Processor TDPs are increasing. On top of that, the temperature that you have to hold the processor at is getting lower. So it's hotter, you have to keep it at a lower temperature. In addition to that, we've seen server densities and rack densities increasing. By putting liquid cooling in a server, customers are more easily able to manage that heat and take it out of the data center efficiently. Immersion cooling is the technology where we submerge our servers into tanks, into liquids, that of course is dielectric and biodegradable. And then uh, we can capture the heat in a more efficient way, like 99% of heat capture, and we can even reuse this heat to different purposes. Submer and Gigabyte is about to bring into the data center and HPC clusters efficiency and sustainability. In order to compete with the hyperscalers, uh, our data center customers need to provide high density at a lower cost. And of course, all the while taking into consideration energy efficiency. And this is why when we say that we have the most dense GPU computing systems in the market, it's because we know how to design uh, thermal efficiency and also computing power into our server models. <laughs>